I'm not sure if I was born first or married first. <laughs> oh. he, st he stole that joke from the horse trainer. <laughs> For most of his time on this planet, Patrick was hopelessly in love with his wife, Lisa Nimi. They were married in 1975. He was 22. She was 19. Patrick and Lisa shared a love for horses, and on our visit to their Southern California ranch in 2005, they had just celebrated their 30th anniversary. We're just still trying to figure out whether we get along or not. Yeah, we, we're not quite sure. <laughs> Certainly, they weren't sure in the beginning, meeting for the first time as teenagers in Houston. He was so good looking and just this all American jock. He was a football player and a dancer and all all these different talents. So he had, a, he had a reputation for having a little bit of an ego. And of course, people were saying to me, watch out for that guy. Patrick, what does this lady mean to you now? Ooh. <laughs> OK, Barbara, you got me. <laughs> and I'm just waiting to find out. But tough times awaited the two when in 2008, Patrick was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. They spoke about it on the Barbara Walters special, Patrick Swayze, The Truth. Write your own tabloid headline. Swayze's kicking it. He's gonna keep kicking it. I'm very specific when, and, and, and very explicit when I'd be laying on a bath bathroom mat curled up going, you son of a, you, you are not gonna beat me. But in facing death, Patrick recalled a line from his movie, Ghost. The biggest line out of Ghost was, it's amazing, Molly, you take the love with you. It's amazing, Molly. The love inside, you take it with you. <laughs> <laughs> she got me, it was a good line.